Okay, so this section uh, that we're going to be talking about is the trick-taking portion of the hand. Um, so let's assume that this player right here to my right um, picks up the blind. They look at it. They exchange two cards. They think that they're going to get at least 61 card points. Um, and they're going to go uh, against uh, myself right here and the player to my left. So their goal is to get 61 or more, and our goal is to stop them at any cost. So the first person to lead is the person to the left of the dealer. So my partner on my left is going to lead. Now in this game, you have to follow suit if you can. So my, my partner plays a 9. Let's do it this way. Um... Let's do, and then um, the picker plays the ace, and then I have to play the nine. Um, so you look at this, you look at the cards played. The highest card of the suit led will win. So in this case, it will go to the picker. Those cards are picked up and placed in their score pile, including those two cards that they set aside earlier. The winner of the, the previous trick goes again, and let's just say for uh, the sake of argument, he plays the, the ace of clubs. So let's just say I lead, and as the defenders, you don't want to give them points if you can help it, but I have to lay the, uh, the seven of clubs. And let's just say my partner for this hand does not have any clubs. And let's say he plays the king of diamonds. Now, if you remember, diamonds is considered trump. So he would actually win this hand or this trick. So these would go to us. And any tricks that you gather with your partner for the hand can go into one a uh, huge score pile. So that's basically it. If you can follow suit, you must. Um, if you can't, you can play any card you want, depending on if you're the picker or you're one of the defenders. Um, and this will happen until all 10 cards are played. Then we can go straight into scoring, which we're going to do right now.